वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द सिमुलेशन ऑफ थाइरिस्ट बेस्ड रेक्टिफायर विद ओपन लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन मैटलैब सिमुलिंग रेक्टिफायर रेक्टिफायर इज अ पावरट्रॉनिक डिवाइस व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स पावर फ्रॉम एसी टू डीसी देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेक्टिफायर अनकंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर इन कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर we can use open loop control system or closed loop control system in this session i'll be explaining about the simulation of open loop controlled and thyristor based rectifier thyristor based bridge rectifier single phase rectifier is shown in this slide it consists of two legs and each leg consists of two thyristors and the output dc voltage is shown here let us see how to simulate this in matlab once you double click the matlab icon in your desktop this window will open in home tab go to simulink library create a uh, click this icon to uh, to create a new model so then the model page is open so we need thyristor for building the rectifier so for that in simulink library go to simscape sim power systems power electronics and thyristor drag and drop it in the model page control r to rotate so i am changing the name as t1 that is switch one the measurement port is required we can keep i am i am un selecting this so we need four thyristors so control click drag to uh, to make another copy t2 t3 and t4 so i'm going to connect this to make the bridge rectifier then once the rectifier is built then we need input voltage source for that go to simscape sim power systems specialized technology electrical sources ac voltage source drag and drop it in the model page so connect in between the switches so input i am giving 230 volt rms into root 2 to get the peak value and i am keeping 50 hertz then we need load for that go to simscape sim power systems specialized technology elements so here we can find series rlc branch drag and drop it in the model page control r to rotate so i'm going to connect i'm connecting with the rectifier so 
So double click RLC branch, select R load. I'm using 10 ohms of resistive load. I am renaming it as R We need to measure the current flowing through the rectifier resistance So for that Go to SIM power systems specialized technology Measurements There we can find current measurement Drag and drop it in the model page So connect the measurement block in series with R load Then to measure voltage In measurement library If we can find a voltage measurement block Drag and drop it in the model page Connect this block across the resistance Then to measure the input voltage, the same block can be used. So control, right click, drag to make another copy. So I am changing it as V in measurement. I am changing the name. Connect across the input voltage source. So I want to see, I am going to see the plot input voltage and the voltage across load in single window. So for that we need MUX. So go to common simulink, commonly used blocks, there we can find MUX. Drag and drop it in the model page. So the, the voltage measurement, the output of the voltage measurement blocks are connected to the input of the MUX block To see the plots we need scope block Go to Simulink Sinks Scope Drag and drop it in the model page We need to plot voltage as well as current so we need two axes Double click scope Go to settings Axis, number of axes, make it two History Unselect this limit data points to last Click OK Close this window Then the output of the MUX That is voltage measurement Voltage is connected to the first port of the scope then next is connected to the current measurement block after doing this we need to generate pulse for the thyristors so for that in this model I am going to use open loop control system so for that go to Simulink Sources There we can find Pulse Generator Drag and drop it in the model page I am renaming it as Pulse 1 Then Pulse 2 Pulse 3 Pulse 4 So connect The output of the pulse generator To uh, gate triggering signal of the thyristor So here we have to define when the thyristor has to be triggered So here I am using a 50 Hz Input uh, Frequency of the input voltage source 
so 1 by 50 is 0 0.02 that is one cycle period so I am going to trigger the thyristor at 45 degree 0 0.02 is 360 degree so here at 45 degree I am going to trigger so for that in, in time in terms of time we have to define so 0 0.0025 so this thyristor 1 and 2 will be triggered in the first positive half of the cycle, half of the input voltage. So this one is also triggered at 45 degree. Then this T3 and T4 will be triggered after 180 degree of T1 and T2. So 45 plus 180 that is 0 0.0125. So for one cycle time period is 0 0.02 that is 360 degree. So 45 degree T1 and T2 are triggered so plus 180 degree after after 180 degree this T3 and T4 will be triggered the time period for that is 0 0.0125 yes now the model uh, the rectifier is modeled before executing this we have to keep power GUI block so for that go to simscape sim power systems Specialized technology, there we can find power GUI. Drag and drop it in the model page. Double click this. Configure, configure parameters. Change this to discrete simulation type. Default sample time is 50 microsecond. I am using the same. Click OK. So now the model is ready. I am setting this simulation stop time to one second. So let us execute the model. The model is getting compiled. Yes, it is executed. Now we can see the plots. So the first one is the voltage plots and second one is the current. So on the first plot right right click click access properties change the name as voltage then in the second one in the second plot on the second plot right click click access properties change the name as load current auto scale yes so now let us see for one cycle so zoom x axis I am selecting I am zooming the x axis yes so one cycle that is 50 hertz 0 0.02 and here T1 and T2 are triggered and in this in this half of this half of the input T2 and T, T3 and T4 are triggered so this is the load current so in this video, I have shown how to model single phase rectifier with open loop control system in MATLAB Simulink tool. Thank you for watching. In next video, I will be explaining about the simulation of three phase rectifier with closed loop control system. Thank you.